Right now, Americans are getting one of three vaccines. Those are created by Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. Scientists around the world are working on many others, though. In fact, the University of Texas is involved in one of those projects. The vaccine is called NDVHXPS, and we're joined now by one of UT's uh, lead researchers on this project, Ilya Finkelstein. Uh, Ilya, can you tell us so what UT's role will be in this project? Yes, absolutely. UT Austin has created a better improved version of an antigen that's used in these vaccines. And this better improved version can produce more of the antigen, can boost our immune systems, and is relatively easy to store, giving it availability to the uh, developing world. Yeah, it's our understanding that the goal is to be able to, to give this vaccine to, be, to make it more affordable for those countries uh, who might have some struggles getting it otherwise. Uh, why is this more affordable for them? Yes, the current versions of the vaccines you've listed in the United States all require custom manufacturing and are very difficult to scale up for billions of people. This new formulation uses uh, chicken eggs, actually, to grow the vaccines, similar to how the flu vaccines are produced. The capacity to grow vaccines in chicken eggs will expand accessibility to the whole globe, will make the vaccines much cheaper, and use a second-generation antigens, which will hopefully also elicit a better immune response and be more easily to store in, in low-resource settings. And we're told, Alien, that uh, human trials have begun in Vietnam and Thailand. What's a realistic timeline for a rollout? Well, we hope the rollout will continue very rapidly, hopefully in maybe a month, uh, just as we've seen with the first wave of vaccines. That will depend on how many COVID-19 incidents there are in those locations. The more COVID-19 there is, paradoxically, the faster the trials go because they reach their endpoints more quickly. So as, as the pandemic flares for yet another spike, uh, we, the vaccines trials may move more quickly, paradoxically. Yeah, so important work. Ilya Finkelstein with the University of Texas College of Natural Sciences here in Austin. Thank you for joining us here on KXA, and we appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, according to the CDC, in the past week, more than 3 million COVID-19 vaccine doses were administered per day here in the United States. That is a far faster pace than the global average, but the U.S. is still behind a few countries when it comes to the percentage of fully vaccinated people. Data obtained by CNN shows the U.S. trials at least seven trails, rather at least seven countries. That includes Gibraltar, with the most. They have 84.9 percent of their people vaccinated. Other places ahead of the U.S. include Israel, the Cayman Island, Islands, and Chile.